Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and we're gonna continue talking about Scream 6 tonight. Guys, we are officially two weeks away. We're almost there. Ah, I'm excited. I know I keep saying this every video, but I am excited. I can't wait for the movie. I know you guys can't wait for the movie either. It's gonna be awesome. Um, if you haven't, get your tickets. I've already got my tickets. Um, I'm hoping this movie does really well, just so we're going to get Scream 7. <laughs> you know, keep making the Scream movies. I think that's awesome. But I want to check out this new um, official trailer that came out. It's called Ready. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, there's some. it looks like there's some new scenes in it. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at the video and uh, kind of give my thoughts on it. Sorry. It's called Breathe. I said Ready. I'm thinking of the other... TV spot trailer or whatever it's called. So, but anyways, if you guys haven't checked this out, uh, let's check it out together and I'll be pausing it during the video. Um, I'm just checking out on my windows player here and, uh, just kind of want to get my thoughts on it as we watch it. So let's take a look. I've been investigating ghost face attacks. He's here in New York. Oh snap. So right here, we can already kind of get a new shot of ghost face. Um, <laughs> I kind of laughed at myself when I watched this the first time and now I'm rewatching it with you guys is um <laughs> it, it made me laugh because Ghostface looks like a nun here if you see the uh hood going over the mask <laughs> it looks like a nun like a nun in like a monastery or whatever and they're just Ghostface is like a nun <laughs> you'd find in like a, a Catholic church or something you know like I don't know I just thought it was hilarious but that's what Ghostface reminded me of in this picture and in the scene so I just thought that was pretty funny um one of the things that points out to me is you can kind of get a good look at the old mass that's being used here you can kind of get some cracks going on so other than Ghostface being a holy nun um <laughs> we can see some cracks right here some more cracks right here more right here big crack right here and uh, you know this is starting to really leave me to believe that um this is an older mask of a past killer i mean obviously the masks are missing in the shrine so this is probably the case you know we're not going to know until a movie drops and i know this is going to do this mask is going to represent somebody right it's going to be a way of i feel like paying tribute to somebody in the past right and just like um remember dewey always talking about the rules right it's always never trust the love interest and um it's always a connection to somebody in the past right so i feel as if there's going to be there has to be a connection with somebody in the past in this movie right would you have the shrine you have all the ghost face costumes i mean they're they're really going all out this movie I think they're doing awesome for the marketing. I think they're doing a great job. I mean, they've been doing they've been doing crazy good, excuse me, on the marketing. And um I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh yeah, so let's keep taking a look at the trailer. March 10th. Did you miss me? You wanna try and finish this? Go ahead. Go ahead. This poor guy, he's gonna die. Sam and Tara, you know, um, they've really grown a lot since Scream 5, right? And they're still kind of in that beginning phase. You know, obviously this is kind of like a whole new trilogy for the series. So, you know, there was Scream 1 and then Sydney was in college and Scream 2. Uh, so I feel like each movie they're going to get more and more. Um... Of course, they're going to get older, but they're going to get wiser. They're going to get tougher. They're going to make not as many mistakes and know how to lure Ghostface out, right? So seeing them in this trailer, I think they're going to have a really um, a really unique way to escape the store, right? Because usually convenience stores, there's one way in, one way out. So there's going to be have to be something in this scene, and I think they're kind of playing on us here because... I think the, the cops are going to be called or something has to happen, right? Because, or maybe there's a back door, you know, maybe there's a back door to get in and we don't see, I mean, there's just going to have to be a way out, but I feel like they're going to have, they're going to be a lot smarter in the scene and they're going to be a lot more wits about them. I don't think they're going to be like fighters, you know, but we had, we did see in one of the trailers that, um, 
Tara was like, come at me, you know, and she was like holding a brick in their hand or something like that. So like, they're obviously ready to fight somebody. Who that is, I'm assuming Ghostface, but we don't know, right? This is going to be uh, something we're going to have to find out on March 10th. So this is exciting. We've got to lure him in. We execute him. Gail, she's going to... I hope she doesn't die. Scream. Ooh. March 10th. We're almost there, guys. March 10th. Tickets on sale now. So yeah, guys, um, I can't wait to... I don't know. I can't wait to go watch the movie. I can't wait to do a review on it. I'm going to have so many, uh, I'm probably going to have so many like questions after the movie. Like, oh, why did this happen? Or why did this happen? Right. And then it's probably going to lead up to scream seven. So it's going to definitely going to be interesting. Um, but they're doing a great job with the marketing. This is probably going to be a great horror movie. Um, you know, the scream movies are fun, so I'm excited to watch it. I know you guys are. But uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.